first off, it's obviously a serious storm. And it's a serious storm that is going to affect most of the East Coast from North Carolina up into New England. But uh, it's going to make landfall in New Jersey. Uh, that's clear. Where in New Jersey, we're not quite yet clear, although it appears that it'll make landfall somewhere between Atlantic City and Tom's River. What that means for us is that of the states that are going to be impacted by this storm, we appear at least at the moment to be taking the brunt of it. So we have to take this seriously. And I know all of us, especially folks in this area, are veterans of a lot of these events. And sometimes that leads you to complacency. I would hope it does not in this instance. Uh, we need to prepare for the worst here. If it turns out that it's, it's not as bad, that'll be a happy event for all of us. But I don't want to see lives lost unnecessarily. And so uh, we, we need to understand that this is a serious storm. But we'll continue every four hours or so through uh, talking to the media and releasing information to let all of you be updated on what you can expect. However, one thing seems fairly certain at this point. We should plan to see heavy rain that lasts for 36 hours once the storm starts to hit later tonight into early tomorrow morning. We all know what this means for some communities in New Jersey. Flooding is very real and serious concern for many families. And I know that for those of you who have lived through this before, uh, my words offer a little comfort when faced with the uh, problems left behind in the aftermath of flooding. Hard reality is that even if we do everything within our power to prepare, we can't stop the storm and we can't completely mitigate the negative impact it's bound to have. But there are steps we can take now to try to mitigate the damage as much as possible.